Hi, this is Tom from Classic Home and Garden. We'd like to thank you for your recent purchase of the Surrey Sphere Fountain. In front of you are the three major components. You have the sphere head, the basin, and the box, which is white, which will house the pump and all the other tools that you need to assemble this fountain. Very easy assembly. In every fountain, you will receive a white box. In the white box will be four different components. The first and most important is the pump. The pump may come with the adapter already in. This is the piece when you place in the pump that will connect to the water hose that will uh, bring the water to the bubbling point of the fountain. You will get the owner's manual. You will get a tool that you'll be able to use to tighten the clamps. Uh, it is going to be specific to the pump that we send, either with a Phillips head, a flat head, or both. And then of course we have shims. Shims you use after the assembly to just make sure that the fountain, if it needs to be raised or lifted or stabilized if it's on unstable ground. So those are the components that will be found in the white box. Do not throw that out. All right. First step in the assembly process is you get this little adapter that comes in the box. Sometimes they actually put it into the pump. This adapter will connect to the hose that runs from the sphere head where the water will travel from the pump. So I'm going to apply the adapter into the pump. Now we have to run the extension cord through the fountain basin. Every fountain basin here with our Surrey fountain is going to have a black cap which covers up a PVC pipe that runs through to the bottom. What you do is you take the hose and you run it in. And it comes out through the bottom. You piece this through. I will then leave enough slack so that this pump will be able to fit into the basin. Also, as you pull the extension cord out, the Surrey fountain has a little notch where you can push and pull the extension cord through. Now we take the black plastic cap and we place it over the top of the PVC pipe and where the little notch is, that's where the extension cord will go. That's what it should look like. Now what we do is we're gonna pull the hose which is usually curled up inside the sphere head. We're gonna pull this out and then take it to the pump and we will then place this tube over the top of that connector. We'll slide the clamp down and with the tool that was provided, we will tighten this up. All right, once that's tightened, we notice the red water flow adapter. This is a manual water flow adapter. It usually comes parallel with the tubes, with the hose. What I like to do is I like to turn it about an eighth of a turn. When this is fully open, uh, you get maximum water flow. As I turn it to the right, it will decrease the water flow ever so slightly. Now, what I will do is I will fill the basin with water. You can use a hose or a bucket. And as you pour the water in, a little bit neater than what I just did, you'll be able to fill the basin up right to the top of that PVC pipe. Then I will take the pump because we've left enough slack we will slide this down into the basin and then we will put the cap on top. What I try to do is I try to center it equally on the basin bottom. Great. All right, we're going to test the fountain out by plugging it in. This fountain can be either hardwired, you could plug it into a standard uh, wall outlet, 
or you can get an um, extension cord, make sure that it's for outdoor use. All right, so what we did is because I adjust that little red nozzle on the valve, uh, that manual water flow adjuster, you're seeing that we're getting perfect water flow on this fountain. Now, when the fountain first starts, it's not unusual as the spear is dry for the water to kind of try to find its way down to the basin. So you'll find some spotting and stuff around the fountain. Once the fountain is completely wet, the spearhead, you'll see that the water goes down, collects into the basin. If you see any unusual splatter, make sure that the fountain is perfectly centered on the base, right? So you can move this around a little bit. Um, if you still see excess water dripping on there, you might want to, again, uh, take that water control valve and turn it down a little bit so that there's no excess water flow. It's a beautiful fountain. Enjoy.